What's up, Laker Nation? It's your boy, Dan, a Lakers fan, and today I'm coming to you guys after a Lakers loss 119-98 to to the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, but it wasn't all bad, guys. The young kids continue to show their aggressiveness and continue to shine in, uh, in Lou Williams' uh, absence. Uh, uh, Brandon Ingram's starting to develop that killer mentality, starting to attack the rim more <clears throat> and be more aggressive looking for a shot which is a positive, guys. He had a career-high 22 points today on a very efficient 10 out of 15. I'm proud of this kid. He's going to be our future. Now we can start seeing kind of what we can look forward with him. He, he could be a mid-20s point-per-game scorer with like six, seven rebounds a game and a couple of assists. I mean, that kid's going to be really good. But we'll see, guys. He's not even... He's just a rookie. He's not even close to peaking yet. Like you guys know my theory. If you guys have been watching my videos, I say by the fourth year, you, these kids start peaking. You can see how their career is going to look, right? Some guys get lucky and they do it in three years, and some just come right up off the bat and do it in one year. But on average, it's four years. Where do I get my sources from? Basketballreference.com. It's a great website. You can see that most superstars, like James Harden, you know, most superstars, it took them three to four years to start hitting their stride, guys. So that's where my theory comes from. But if this kid, Brandon Ingram, can start showing uh, positive signs from his rookie season, then the future is really bright for us, guys. Also, Jordan Clarkson looked really nice, and I continue to uh, like, even though he's been off on most of his jump shots, I continue to like D'Angelo Ru Russell's aggressiveness. Uh, um, like I said, to me, he's the most mentally prepared uh, player we have on the team ready to step up to that next level, but he just has to continue to work hard at it, guys. We got pretty much outworked in every facet of the game by the San Antonio Spurs. They play really hard. They play team-oriented basketball. They move the ball really well, so... It's it's great guys. Uh, I hope our guys rip a page out of their book and learn a little bit from them You know learn how to move the ball a little bit better and, and how to cut without the basketball But that's something that's gonna come to our guys and hopefully sooner rather than later um, I really like what magic has done giving all the young players a lot of a lot of time Oh, and by the way, I like Corey Brewer and Tyler Ennis. Those were good pickups for us guys. Everybody was hating on Corey Brewer uh, He's everything that I, I've been advertising. He's a good wing defender who plays his role and he's here to help our young players develop and fit in wherever he can. He's like a plug-in and play player. So he fits in pretty much any system, guys. His type of players are welcome in, on any team. A hard-working, defensive-minded player who will only take open shots and attack the room whenever he gets a chance. So it's a good young. It's a good player. He's 30 years old, but again, uh, we weren't. The trade was for the pick. So what, whatever he throws on, it's a it's a bonus. And Tyler Ennis looks like a pretty heady point guard. He actually looks. Uh, a little bit better being a floor general than I thought he would. And he had su surprising speed bursts, guys. I, I, I kind of like that kid as a backup point guard. But we'll see how they continue to improve with the, with the lineup, and we'll see what continues to happen. Now, I think I didn't, today was the first time in a, in a while that I didn't finish watching the whole game because I had to run some errands because I might be moving out pretty soon. So, yeah, um, don't, don't misquote me, but uh, I, I missed, you know, I missed a good portion of the fourth quarter. So I don't know what happened. After that, but looking back at the box score, I could see that uh, that uh, a couple of those young, young players are continue to be aggressive. I really like the way, and the the three quarters of the game that I saw, I really like the way Jordan Clarkson played. He was really aggressive, and I like that. You know, he he now takes on that six man role from Lou Williams that he left behind. So, to me, in my opinion, him and D'Angelo benefit the most. But I can also see Brandon Ingram benefiting from this because now he gets touches he wasn't getting when Lou Williams and Nick Young were on the floor together. So. Definitely was a positive, guys. I know that I know it's going to be a long end of the season. And it's going to suck to watch us lose a lot of these games, but hopefully it'll all be worth it. We keep our draft pick, and hopefully we make the right choice, guys. Anyways, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll definitely catch you guys after the next game, guys. Peace out.